Hey everybody, welcome back to another how-to video um, from Daniel Worthy. Uh, today we're just going to uh, show you how to set up a website inside of IIS and how to custom the, customize the configuration for your needs. So what I have in front of us is just your standard uh, ASP.NET. Uh, it's an MVC4 web application. Uh, now typically to run this inside your browser, you'll uh, run the debug instance and it's going to pop up a website uh, localhost with some ridiculous port on it. Um, this is this is acceptable. I mean it works. However, the 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 one problem with it is that say um, you if you want to access your website before um, having to to load up your, your Visual Studio in an instance or you want to demo your website to somebody else and you don't have your tools open, it's it's not as flexible. So uh, what, what I'm going to show you to, uh, how to do is set it up with IIS. IIS is the equivalent of XAMPP or um, Tomcat. It's um, it's the application on site inside of Windows that actually runs your websites. Um, so to get to your web settings uh, on your project, you're going to right-click on your solution or right-click on your project. I'm sorry, and uh, click on properties. You'll br it'll bring up your um, properties tabs, and you want to select web. Now inside of this tab, we're given several options for our web servers. First off, I would recommend uh, unchecking the apply server settings to all users. Uh, this, there, if you have a, if you use a, a source control provider, this can cause a lot of uh, minor frustrations when uh, first opening the project. It'll try and look for the the um, the IIS and complain if it's not uh, the I, if the IIS settings aren't there. Now, but by default, with MVC4 and uh, .NET or Visual Studio 2012, use IIS Express is going to be turned on. So let's uncheck that, and it'll ask you some bunch of random questions. And by default, it sets your URL to the name of your project. So this is IIS Demo 2. Uh, now I'm going to click on Create Virtual Directory, and we're going to go to this URL inside of our browser. and it always takes a few seconds for it to spin up. It's done, but just to ensure that our application has is hitting that URL, F5, and there you go. That is the quick and easy way to do it. Now, if you want to do something a little bit more custom, say you want to do, uh, let's do IIS.localhost, um, you're actually going to need to get into um, your IIS control panel and also uh, edit your host file. Um, I guess I should have started off and mentioned that uh, if you do not have your development environment set up, you can open up the, the Microsoft Web Platform installer. Uh, it's currently on 4.6. Uh, you can uh, download that from their website, just Google it. And uh, it what it does is it packages up a lot of commonly used tools and installs them for you on uh, on your box. So uh, when you download it, uh, click on products, then server, and IIS recommended configuration. Just click add and then install and it'll take a little bit of time to, in, to, to turn everything on. What it's doing behind the scenes, this is inside our control panel, um, it, is it turns Windows features on and off. Um, oh. So if we expand this, there actually is an Internet Information Services um, checkbox group, and it's going through and selecting all the ones required to uh, run the run IIS on your machine. Um, not all of them are needed. They they uh, they turn on the ones that are recommended. <laughs> okay, so back to uh, setting this up as IIS demo two at uh, dot localhost. First, we're going to need to find our host file. Now what this does, uh, what the host file is, uh, is kind of a, it's an, you can think of it as kind of a, an overwrite. Um, whatever you put into your um, your host file, it's going to overwrite on your server. So actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to, you have to run your application as an administrator, especially on uh, Windows 8. Let's clear that out, we don't need that. Edit the notepad.
Alright, so what we have here uh, inside this file is um, it's a list of IP addresses and a URL. So by default, uh, localhost is always going to point to your local box, which is uh, 127.0.0.1. So I'm going to change this to IS demo. Save that. Now I want to go to this URL and we'll see what happens. Oh. Yes. So what it does is that it actually takes us to our default localhost. Um, it takes us to our default localhost uh, website. So to get this configured to use, oh, I'm sorry, and, and the host file is located in uh, Windows System32 Drivers ETC. Um, but to set this up with um, IIS, we're going to need to open up IIS and configure it real fast. So you're going to open up your control panel. Um, go to administrative tools and there's going to be uh, internet information services manager sometimes you may have two there if you're using Windows 7 uh, you're going to want to use 7.0 or, or the highest version number alright so first off we're going to add a new website we're going to just call it IIS demo we're going to select the application pool. Now this is what you can think of the app pool is kind of the behind the scenes settings for this. You can set up a single app pool for a website and give it some dedicated memory or um, or set its refresh time. It's a little more advanced than what I'm wanting to go into um, but something to, to be aware of if you if you are setting up your own web server. We're going to set our physical path which is what I just copied over now if we were, uh, say we were installing this into a secure directory or a directory that doesn't have um, uh, permissions, uh, access, uh, accessible permissions, we would set up connect as, uh, and then we're going to set up our host name next, which is isdemo.localhost. So if you're setting up your own web server, a production web server here, you could probably, you this is where you would do uh, my site name dot com or, or whatever we could change the IP addresses to it um, HTTP or HTTPS test uh, in your port number we're just gonna leave that as is <laughs> and opening up the website uh, you're gonna see all your your default files now there's a button to browse website so we are going to browse it real fast but look what happened it uh, opened up the default website. Now the reason it does this is because ah, it does this because um, of your cache DNS. Now, I think if I open it up in Firefox it may work. <clears throat> so what you need to do here is uh, of course um, What you can do here to clear that out, and so this this worked, but we're still having the issue here. Oh, there it is. Um, if that happens, restart your browser, or then um, open up a command prompt that set and um, plug in your uh, flush DNS command. I don't recall what it was off the top of my head, but um, it's usually what what you'll have to you have to do to get that. Uh, cleared out and working. So now with this you get a nice cool um, customized URL. You don't have to use localhost. You can do iisdemo.com or, or whatever you uh, want to do for it. Um, we could, we're could we going to possibly go over some of these other settings on the back, uh, later on like how to set up I, uh, HTTPS and uh, other various settings but um, Oh, right. One last thing that you may notice is that if you try to actually debug your site and debug in Google Chrome, it's going to open up my localhost IIS demo site. So to be able to debug with your custom URL, you're going to want to plug in your custom URL and create virtual directory, uh, save your project and rebuild it, and 
when you debug again, it opens up our our custom URL so that you can step through it using your custom URL. So anyway, all right. So that's that's all there is to it to set up your own custom website using uh, IIS. Fairly straightforward. Um, Visual Studio does hold your hand uh, quite a bit on it. There are other different ways of setting this up, but this is probably the quick and easy way to get it as customized as you want in, in, a, rem in a way you can remember instead of trying to remember a bunch of random port numbers. Uh, my name is Dana Worthy. I really ap appreciate the view. Um, any feedback is, is, is appreciated, and we will see you on the next one.